Twitter on Thursday, became the latest social media giant to draw the ire of Americans, including some lawmakers. Dover reports that it sold nearly $300,000 worth of ads to a Russian agency tied to the Kremlin during the 2016 election cycle. Executives from Twitter said in a statement that the Russian state media agency Russia Today spent as much as $247,100 in ads targeting U.S. markets in 2016. Twitter also found 201 accounts linked to the same Russian operatives who promoted politically motivated ads on Facebook, as reported by CNN a day before. The real kick in the chin for democracy came from another Thursday revelation an Oxford University study showed voters in 27 swing states saw a higher concentration of fake news on Twitter than any other states in the lead-up to the 2016 presidential election. Related why secret Russian ads on Facebook are a worry for America those stories, with possibly more to come, come as executives from Twitter, Facebook, and Google meet with lawmakers investigating how Russians used social media to sow divisions in the U.S. and potentially influence the presidential election. Among the most vocal critics of Twitter's report was Senator Mark Warner, Virginia, who on Thursday described the company's presentation as deeply disappointing and inadequate on almost every level, CBS News reported. Investigators and Americans have long suspected Russian actors were behind social media accounts that spread misinformation or fake news about political candidates in the U.S. Some of those suspicions were confirmed this month, starting when Facebook said it had sold about $100,000 worth of ads to a Russian troll farm beginning in the summer of 2015. Another report in the Daily Beast said Russians impersonated a Muslim group in the U.S. to smear Senator John McCain, rare Arizona and Hillary Clinton on Twitter and Instagram. And yet another report from Politico told of Russian bid ads creating divisions among political candidates, including Clinton, Jill Stein and the ultimate victor, Donald Trump. Facebook, and now Twitter, have said they've taken steps to clamp down on suspicious accounts and activity on their platforms. Facebook said that its newly rolled out measures helped prevent the spread of misinformation during the German elections last week. Whether Facebook and Twitter can ultimately stop Russians from weaponizing their platforms to influence Americans is beginning to worry people. Senator Richard Blumenthal, Connecticut, described some of the Russian bit Facebook ads as shocking. And Representative Adam Schiff, Burbank, said Twitter and Facebook need to come clean. And it's not just senators expressing concern over social media's role in spreading political misinformation and its ultimate impact on democracy. Many Americans shared similar worries and called for Twitter, Facebook, and Google to take greater steps to prevent future encores. Twitter.com Renato M A R I O T T I S T A T U S 913 quadrillion 404 trillion 934 billion 976 million 98312 tps Twitter.com A M A N D A J U N D B E L L S T A T U S 913 quadrillion 212 trillion 141 billion 66 million 506 thousand 240 share your thoughts are you worried that Russians could weaponize social media in future elections have some thoughts to share join me in a conversation shoot me a private email with your thoughts or ideas on a different approach to this story as always you can also send us a tweet Email luis.gomez at stunyontribune.com Twitter at Ring Gomez Read the conversation on Flipboard. Also a Twitter's new 280-character limit makes perfect sense why secret Russian ads on Facebook are a worry for America.